guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video. Today I'm gonna do a get ready with me or just a regular makeup tutorial. I have just did done my makeup and I'm letting you guys take a part of this. Today I did use some Supernova, sh Supernova shadows. This one in the shade Dragon. This is from Colourpop by the way. And let me tell you, I have struggled to the extreme. So if you want to see how I struggled or see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. The first thing I'm going to start with today is to moisturize my face because I haven't done that yet. I have cleansed it, but I have not moisturized it. So I'm going to use this Kim Tai and Ofra Wonder Lush moisturizer, <laughs> moisturizer slash primer. I realize that I don't have a mirror, but I don't need a mirror to prime and mo moisturize my face. I feel like Mort. I'm also gonna take a little bit of this. This is from Colourpop and this is their uh, Rose Quartz Crystal Priming Spray. Shaking it gently and then holding it uh, like so. And today I'm going to use two different foundations. I'm going to use the Ofra Absolute Cover Silk Peptide Foundation in the shade 4. I think I have it in 4. Yeah, and this is oil free. And then I'm going to take the Body Shop Moisture Foundation with SPF 15 in the shade. I think this is, yeah, 1. And today I'm using the Elo sponge. This is, um, I really like this sponge. It's very, very affordable. And um, yeah, I really like it. Uh, but I think that this is only available for the people in the Nordics. I don't even know if it's available in Denmark, maybe. I know it's available in Norway. Well, I think so anyway. By the way, I uh, was going to take a shower this morning because I need to wash my hair. And, um, yeah. <laughs> mm. But we didn't have any hot water and I was standing there and freezing <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not going to shower in ice cold water. I just, no, I just won't. No, 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 no freaking way. Uh, I'm gonna take the ColourPop. Uh, concealer in the shade 10 uh, yeah but anyway I was just like no I'm not gonna do this I'm not taking this I'm not gonna stand and shower in ice cold water um, so I'm really hoping that they can fix it until tonight because I need to shower my hair Oh no, I thought I would cream contour today. Maybe I can do a little bit. I like to put my cream contour on before I take my concealer on. This is just from uh, Beauty UK. This is the one I always, or I don't always use this, but I always use the Beauty UK brand. I always use this or the um, cream contour palette that I have. This one, I have a video on it. If you guys would like to check it out, I can leave it up here. So now that we have this entire face, not set, <laughs> but I have my cream products on, should we take a little bit of cream highlight today? I don't think I ever used this in a video. I usually go for my Cover FX uh, Custom Enhancer Drops. Uh, but I think I'm gonna do a mix of these two. This is the NYX um, Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in the shade Sunbeam. And this is the Sleek Bear Illuminator in the shade Monaco. The Sleek one I have not used in a very long time. It's a very purple sheen to it and the next one is more a pink so i'm just blending them together and this makes the most beautiful highlight so i'm just gonna put some on right here and dab it in with my fingers i'm 
I'm gonna take a little bit right here as well. This is almost um, drying down on the back of my hand, which is so weird. I think it's the sleek one and not the NYX one. So now that that is done, I'm going to take this NYX finishing powder in the shade Banana. I'm just gonna take this right under my eye, down towards my nose, just a little bit like that. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my chin area, a little bit on my nose and forehead. Then I'm gonna take the Maquillage Powder. I haven't used this in quite a while. And I'm actually just gonna take a little, little small amount of powder and set my face, but I'm not gonna um, like press it in. I'm just not, I'm, I'm gonna be <laughs> quite sloppy with the powder. So I just did my brows off camera real quick. Nothing special about that. But now I'm gonna take some of the concealer that I used before just as an eyeshadow primer. And I'm just gonna blend that out and today I'm gonna use the Sahara, no, the Sahara. I'm gonna use a palette by Juvia's Place and I'm gonna use the Masquerade palette and I'm also going to use, I think I'm gonna use this shade from the Colourpop Supernova Shadow thingy ding ding <laughs> thing. I really wanna use those uh, a little bit more because I have a hard time deciding what I think of them. Now I'm just taking a wet and white powder to set my eyeshadow primer. But I have a hard time dealing with the shadows and they are gorge, but I have some problems with them. Um, I don't know if you watched that video, but I did upload a video where I did a makeup tutorial with some of the stuff that I showed you guys in my ColourPop haul. And uh, I used the Supernova, no, Super, yeah, Supernova Shadow in the shade Moonlit. And I told you guys that I would update you in the description box how the shadow performed. And it fell all through my face. Like, five hours later, I saw that the shadow was just laying all over my eyes, or under my eyes. <sighs> and the... <laughs> It just cracked more and more and more, and I don't know why that is. So, as I said, I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place Saharan. I always say Saharan too. Masquerade, I mean, of course, which looks like this. So, I'm starting off with the shade Burkina, which is this um, brown shade. Now I'm gonna take the shade Ada, which is this one right here. I'm gonna use the shade Bori, which is this very nice pink. And if you have this palette, you know that it contains some glitter. So it's not like the shade you see right here, or these ones, which are a little bit more foiled. This is actually a shade that's, that contains glitter, if you know what, what I mean. It's like a matte with glitter in it. And usually when you put it in your crease, it kind of blends away. So I think I'll be fine to have it and use it like I would use a matte. Even if it's not, if it, you, if it contains some glitters and my crease will be a little bit shiny. I don't care. It can look very, very nice, so we'll try it. I will, however, go in with the shade Sobo. If you were here, you could definitely see that I have a good dense in this shade. Uh, there's something about these purple shades that I just find to be so beautiful on the eyes. Look at that brush, oh my god. So I'm just gonna put it right here. And then what I like to do is just take a brush and try to smoke this 
out and up a bit since I have so hooded eyes when I close my eyes now I'm pulling my brows up so you can definitely see all of the shade but when I put my lids down like this a lot of the eyeshadow actually goes away so that is why I'm always dragging the shade so much further up than my normal crease is So what I'm gonna try today is that I am going to go in with this Colourpop Supernova Shadow in the shade Dragon and I will also use two brushes because I won't be waiting for it to dry down and then try to blend because obviously it flakes off. I have two brushes right here. The first one is a Morphe S30 brush. This is just a regular concealer brush. And then I have a Beauty UK brush. These doesn't have, you see my swatches here, but these doesn't have a number or a name, but why I love it, I know I don't have autofocus, but just imagine how this looks. It's very pointy, which makes it perfect for my inner corner. So what I will do is that I will go over um, my legs with Dragon, and then with the help of the brushes, I will kind of try to blend it as the way I want it to be. Okay, so something like that. Now I'll take this brush. No. I need more. No, this doesn't work. The brush just blends it, the shadow away. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a bit. Can you see that? That the brush just takes everything away okay, so I'm just placing some shadow right there now I'm gonna take this brush Okay, you know what, I'm going to go on top this with um, the pink shade that I used before. So I'm gonna leave it at this right now. And now I'm going back to the Juvia's Place palette and I'm going to take the shade Bori once again. And I'm taking this on the brush that I used before, the Morphe S30. And I'm going, as you can see, I have a lot of my brush. So I'm gonna tap this off and I'm also gonna just put some of the shade on my hand so I won't get that much on and then I'm just going over it. Definitely don't go in with a blending brush because your your um, supernova shadow will crack. So just go over it just a little bit with this. We'll see if this works better. You know what? This, uh, the palette actually has this shade, which is called Cairo. I have used this in my crease before. It's a very or a shade it might go well with the dragon so I'm actually gonna take this to go on top as well to see if that helps to blend the lines a bit I actually think it did so I have a bit of fallout uh, right here under my eye I'm gonna take the shade Bore once again and put it under my eye. And then I'm gonna take this shade Giza, which is this one right here, and I'm gonna use this as an inner corner highlight. So, I just popped on some mascara and lashes, and I will leave that in the description box. Well, I used the, I can tell you guys, it's no biggie, but I used the Effort Lash from Doll 10, and I used the Beach Cosmetics Pro Studio Lashes in the style D300 and Thu. Thu! 300 and Thu! But what I can tell is that it cracked so much that I had to go over it once again 
I don't know if I'm using too much. I don't wanna, I, I mean, I really want these to work. So that is why I'm like, no, but it might be that, it might be that. Oh my God, it's totally flaking off right here. So I have not used my Anastasia Contour Kit in a very long time, it looks wretched, I know. So I think I'm gonna go over, or I think I'm gonna use this shade as my contour today. I need a brush. I'm not gonna take anything more in my forehead or on my forehead just because I already have some contour there and I think that bronzer is enough. And today I'm gonna be a bushy as the F. I'm gonna use my Marc Jacobs bronzer and this is in the shade 102 Tantric. Looks like this. So beautiful. Oh my god, it flaked out <laughs> more. I might as well just sit with this brush in my hand. And today I'm gonna use my Love Flash palette from Too Faced, which looks like this, super duper cute, and you get a lot for your bucks, but I don't think that this is available anymore. I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is called Lang Lang. <sighs> Why can't I talk today? Love Hangover. And today I'm gonna use my Anastasia Glow Kit in this Stay or Shide, 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 Shade, uh, Sugar. And I really need to purchase some alcohol liquid because I need to press this shadow. But I'm gonna take Starburst and then I'm gonna take a gumdrop on top of that. This is just starburst on its own. <sighs> Such a beautiful shade. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of gumdrop on top of this. Just a little bit, just to make the shine a little bit more pink. Just like that. So I'm gonna use two ColourPop liquid lipsticks in this video and I'm gonna, or to this look. I'm gonna use Freaking Frack on my outer parts and then I'm gonna take November on my inner parts. I'm just gonna take a little bit more of this Rose Quartz Water from ColourPop. So, I'm gonna do something with my hair and then I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm done with this makeup tutorial. Um, I did go in with more of the Dragon Shadow Supernova Shadow on my eyes because it fell down, but everything has cracked once again, so... Yeah, I'm super happy. But I'm definitely struggling, I will give it a go a few more times but I will keep you guys updated and um, yeah that was all from me today I really hope that you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it and I will see you on the next one bye guys